Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well today we're going to look at the, the People module and these are absolutely great for showing your team members or your staff members or just introducing yourself. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled let's go down to where we want to work and I'll go down below this I'm going to add a new section and inside that section I'm going to put a row I'm going to put a row with four columns now as you can see here it's prompted us to add a module Divi comes as standard with all these modules if you've got WooCommerce installed you also get another dozen or so for selling your products with and I want the person module today it's right there so I'm just going to left click on it and as you can see it's put in a little blank with an image placeholder a name a position and a bit of text there so let's have a look at what we've got here text obviously you give your person a text name there whatever their position in the company is now if you want to add social media profiles just put in the URL of their Facebook page or whatever in right there I'm just going to put a hashtag for now and as you can see a little icon will appear when you put that in there and do the same thing with Twitter Google Plus doesn't exist anymore so we'll leave that one and put a LinkedIn in and as you can see we've got a Facebook a Twitter and a LinkedIn little icon there so it doesn't look too interesting but it's functional down below you've got a description where you can describe the person that you're talking about moving on down to the image this is where we choose our image simply click on that and for me I've got four images here and they're perfectly square mine are actually six by six hundred but it really doesn't matter too much about the size of course if you want small images put small Im images in there but like I say mine perfectly square and the reason I've made mine perfectly square is because I'm going to turn them into circles and to turn them into circles they need to be perfectly square or else they'll end up as ovals so we've got our image in there if you want to link the whole module to something like his website or something put your link in there if you're linking to your own website a different page keep it in the same window if you're linking to a different website you might want to put that in a new tab okay we've got a bit of styling down below let's give it a background I'll give it a background gradient to learn more about backgrounds you've got color gradient image and video have a look at our playlist below we've done a whole module just on backgrounds there but I'm going to add a simple gradient um, keep the blue at the top let's make it black at the bottom there we go so as you can see it's got a, a gradient background in there with gradients you can tweak them a little bit just want my dark to come up a little bit so I'm going to change the end position I don't know if you can tell if I take it all the way down see the bottom's going totally black there it's just changing the position of where things start and end something like that's going to work fine I don't want it to be above my image and I'm not going to give it an admin label so let's go ahead and move on to design icon well that's our social media icons here let's give them a sort of blue color perhaps a bit lighter than that let's go into the color and just pull this up something like that there we go that's fine I'm going to copy this color I'm right clicking on it I'm going to say copy icon color because so I'm going to use it again for the title and a position now if you want to make those icons bigger you can use icon font size switch that to on just put them to the size that you want them there in fact we can come up a little bit with that okay moving on to the image not much I want to do to it really I want to make it round and perhaps give it a border so to make it perfectly round as it's a square this will only work with a square image I'm going to put 50% up 
otherwise you can just give it rounded corners if you want to as you can see that's made that perfectly round fantastic let's give it a little border I'll do all sides you can do top right bottom and left separately I'm going to do them all let's say three pixels you see it popping in there as a the dark perhaps four pixels and let's make it white fantastic you can change the border style from the usual sort of uh, HTML styles, ha dashed, dotted, etc. if you want to. But I think I'm going to keep mine solid. I'm not going to use a box shadow on my image today. Or any of the filters. Filters are great. Um, what we could do, image saturation that's the sort of color amount that's in there if you take it all the way one way it'll go black and white if you take it the other way it'll go extremely colorful so I'll leave mine in the middle for the regular but we could simply just set a hover state by hovering over the dark legend there hit the arrow and then it'll give you desktop which is a non hover state and hover which is when you're hovering over it so if you it on the hover tab and take this all the way down to black and white when you hover it it'll become black and white simple little effect there that adds a little to your site okay let's move on down text this is the general text for everything here I'm gonna put it in the middle and I'm gonna make it light so we can actually see it there we go we can actually see it now and everything's in the middle I'm not gonna use any text shadow for the title text, I'm going to paste that color that I copied from our social media icons. I'm also going to make it uppercase. Let's make it a bit bolder, perhaps semi bold. You can change the font here. Divi's got a hundreds of styles of fonts to choose from, so you're never stuck. And if you hover over one, it'll show you what that font looks like. But I'm going to leave mine just on the default for the moment. I think I'll bring it up a little bit in size just a little bit and I'm going to paste in that blue color by right clicking on the color and paste the icon color that we copied there we go and we'll do the same for his title as well position text let's just paste that color in there and let's take that up just a little bit too fantastic all right so we've got a lot of this going on now i want to put a bit of space around it the thing i've noticed at the moment is that it's too squashed up um so i'm going to ex extend my row it's too squashed up because i've got four of them here i'm going to extend my row so it stretches the whole of the screen there but before i do that i'm going to give this a bit of padding so there's a bit of space top bottom right and left so let's go on down to spacing And let's give it say 25 pixel all around. This will look a bit strange until I make the row bigger because it's going to be kind of squashed up. Just put in the 25, it'll put the pixels in for you. Hit the chain, it'll do the opposite side. So there we go, that's looking kind of like I want it to look. Last thing I want to do is I'm just add a little bit of box shadow to lift it off of the page a little bit. Still on the design, down a box shadow. Fantastic. Right, let's save this and do our row quickly. So I'm going to go into the green tab, the row, blue for a section, green for a row, and dark for a module. I'm going to go into the row, little cog. I'm going to go to design, and then sizing. Width, I'm going to drag this all the way up to 100%. I'm going to copy this 100%, control C, and paste it in the max width below, or you can type it in if you prefer. And as you can see, we've now got a full width column, or full width row, I should say. Now, I don't want it touching the sides. I want a bit of padding either side. So let's give it, say, 100 picks left and right. So we'll go to spacing, left and right. We'll put in 100 and hit the chain. I think that's going to look OK. Then what we'll do is we'll go back into our little module here. And they've introduced 
in the last week a preset default you can save this as a preset and use it on every time you make this or we could simply clone it I'll simply clone it today I'm gonna hit the little clone button move doesn't matter which one you move because they're both exactly the same clone move clone and move okay so we got our four little ones there obviously you just go into the next one change the image change the name I'll do fine. And pop your new image in there. And continue like that. Now obviously sometimes you're gonna have different amounts of writing in the the different people. So let's go into this one and let's change the amount of content writing we got in there. Well, that's probably a little, took out a little too much there. Let's take out a little less. There we go. And let's say you want all of these the same si size or same height, even though there's less writing in them. Simply, we can simply go into size design tab down to sizing and we can give it a minimum height let's try 650 that may be too much yeah it's a little too much let's try 600 a little too short you can increment it with the little arrows here to just bring it down to about where you want it right there I should say and that way with a fixed height or a minimum height they're always going to be the same height even if you have got different text in them so there's how to add our people modules they're really useful and really eye-catching as well as informative in the next video I'll show you how to add some custom padding on our advanced tab or custom CSS I should say we'll write some custom CSS and we can sort of make our image smaller and change the the padding between the content and the icons etc so let's save our changes and make sure everything works on the other end save the draft or publish if you're ready exit visual builder and go down and there's our little people modules so there you have it there's how to use the people modules in the fantastic Divi 4 theme I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.